One of the most popular lines in Downton Abbey is when Maggie Smith, as the Dowager Countess, asks, what, what is a weekend? Actually, it was not an unreasonable or a totally disingenuous question. In the rather loose chronology of Downton, we're in the 1920s, and the Dowager Countess is supposed to be pushing about 80, so that means she's born in about 1840. Nobody born in 1840 would have heard the word weekend until they were middle-aged. In 1879, somebody wrote to Notes and Queries from Staffordshire, asking if it was a dialect term. In the letter to Notes and Queries, it's explained in incredible detail that this is what it means when you go to visit somebody on a Friday and then you stay there on Saturday and then you stay there till Sunday and then you leave on Sunday. And it, obviously this is a very exotic phenomenon. By the 1920s, it was associated with um, flappers, with jazz, with cocktails, that kind of rather fast set between the wars. And of course, in that sense, if, the Dowager Countess knows what a weekend is. It's something that she does not wish to know about. If you are a person of independent means, as absolutely everybody she would countenance would be, then you go where you like for as long as you like. The people who have to go away for the weekend are the people who are actually working from Monday to Friday. I've got a job in Ripon. I said I'll start tomorrow. A job? And there's a story about Edward, Prince of Wales, asking his father, George V, if he could have the use of Fort Belvedere in the grounds of Windsor Castle. And his father being rather surprised and saying, well, what do you want that funny old place for? Those damn weekends, I suppose. And probably, or possibly, the king regretted it because it was those kind of weekend house parties where Wallace Simpson met the Prince of Wales. And if so, eventually they led to the abdication. <laughs>